C. And today I want to show you how to use the green screen app to create your own movie. So as you can see, I'm standing in front of a green background. Uh, but you can also see their edges that are sort of different green color. And more importantly, I have something that is red behind me, which I want to do that because I want to show you that you don't have to, it doesn't have to be perfect when you're filming it. We can always just crop them out later on. So are you ready? Okay, we're going to go to the green screen app. Let's go. So we're at the home page of the iPad. We should first go ahead and look for a background. And I'll just open up Safari and go to Google Image. Uh, and then I already typed in computer circuits. So I go ahead and select one I want to use as a background. Um, let's see. I will use this blue one. Looks good. I open it up. And then now you got to press it slightly with one finger onto the image. And press it for about two seconds and then let go. Gently though. It will take a few times. Uh, most people have trouble with that. It doesn't just happen the first time. And you just press it and then let go. Press it and then let go. And here it is. It's a save image. I go ahead and just save image. And then now it's in my camera roll. So I can double check that. Let's go to, go to my camera roll and go to my album you see right here it said the last one right there okay so now we'll go to the green screen app for me it is on the home page at the bottom but you just got to look around it has a purple octopus icon go ahead select that once you're there as you can see this is what it looks like go ahead and press the upper right corner with the plus where the plus sign is and create and go ahead and create a new project so at the bottom you see three plus signs right there, and each one has is for different things. So on the top plus sign, go ahead and press that, and then we can put our video in. Go ahead and find the video, and find the one with green background, select, and then use. Don't worry about the sofa right here. Um, now we can go ahead and press the middle plus sign, and then put our background image. Go ahead and hit that, and then go all, and you know what? I'm going to use another background first. And I'm going to select this BPS background right here. And here it is. As you can see, the background uh, with the BPS logo is not in the center. The flag is out of place. And I have the sofa in the background. Don't worry about that. We can crop all of that out. Okay? And adjust the background as well. We'll first go ahead and crop the sofa click the two triangles at the bottom right here and then we just take away all the non green stuff that's it leave the sides because my hands might move so next thing is now I can adjust um, the location of me of my icon right here or my photo so I can move it I can shrink it down I can move to the left move to the right I can turn it upside down if I want uh, there are many different things I want to do and but just go ahead and put it in the center and okay I think I am happy with right around here all right and I want to make sure at the bottom okay done now I want to go ahead and adjust or crop the background as well go ahead and do the same thing and I said right around there you see now the flag is in the set it's in the center I can see the whole entire flag and same thing I can move the background around turn it do whatever I want with it okay so the next thing I want to do is put that um, how about that blue background the circuit background and I can go ahead and look just scroll and scroll and find where I want to put the blue background I figure okay for me, it's right around here, and I just go ahead and press it, and go ahead and trim. Now, that is gone, so I can just press the plus sign again, and put another image. And I select the image, and use, and there it is. Now we'll just put a playback on, and see what it looks like. I've turned the sound down, 
because we, all we want to do is just make sure everything else is working and we can see the transition come in. There it is. And everything looks good. Now, the last thing we have to do is to save what you've done onto the iPad, onto your camera roll as an MP4 file. So all we have to do is press the save button right at the center underneath me uh, next to that little triangle. And now it's starting to export your file, which takes a while. And once it is done, a little dialog box will pop up and just hit save to camera roll. Once you do that and it's success, we can go back to camera roll and just double check it. And here it is. That's how you use the green screen app. Thank you for watching. Make sure you check out my movie on how to use the iMovie app. Thank you.